Kawhi Leonard. We all know him, 6'7 cyborg with a 7 foot wingspan, 2 time champion, 2 time finals MVP with 2 different teams. Not a lot of people in NBA history can claim that they did that, and so he's one of the most respected superstars in the league right now. With his accolades and his no nonsense, quiet, let his game do to talking demeanor, he's one of the few people who probably don't have anything to prove anymore in this league. And he's looked at to be the best two way player in the league, if not one of the best. Not to mention, one of the most clutch players ever. On the opposite side of the spectrum, some people love to point at him as the cause of all load management culture that's been taking the league by storm. Some people also like to question his clutch capabilities by looking at how he and Paul George haven't won anything yet in LA. People love looking at the Game 7 performance against the Nuggets in 2020 in that infamous blown 3-1 lead. But all of that, that's just from people from the outside looking in, man. These are just from people who haven't touched a stage as big as what Kawhi steps on night after night. So why don't we take a look at what the people who actually live that life has to say about the claw. Here's what NBA stars and legends have to say about Kawhi Leonard. And first here, I want to take a look at the guys he shared a court with. Guys he's actually competed with and had rivalries with throughout the years. And for me, there's no better example of that than one LeBron Raymond James. These two have gone to hell and back against each other, but the highest stakes came right at the start of Kawhi's career, when the two faced each other in the finals between the Miami Heat and the San Antonio Spurs. LeBron had to work for his points when being guarded by Kawhi, so much so that this iconic clip was born. LeBron James is shooting a free throw. <laughs> that face? <laughs> he was not happy about that. Pretty wild considering that this was actual 2013 MVP LeBron James going up against a raw 21-year-old sophomore, Kawhi Leonard. That prime Heatles team needed that Ray Allen shot to save the series and eventually win it all last year. And the Claw and the Spurs eventually dominated that aging Heat team the next year, with Kawhi Leonard getting his first finals MVP with his lockdown D against the King and owned him. Two years later, LeBron had this to say when asked about who was the guy best suited to guard him. Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard. He's solid. He's solid. Solid at that end of the floor. He's very, very solid. I like him. I like the kid. The two have gone on to become two of the best players of the 2010s and went on to be even bigger rivals when LBJ went to the Lakers and Kawhi going to the Clippers a year later. They produced more iconic moments like this one. Picking up his fourth. LeBron into Leonard. Boy, two guys were right there. Zubats went up and Leonard was right there. The claw. <laughs> well, we saw the great defense by LeBron. And this. The defense by LeBron as yes, well. Good point. Started on Kawhi, got switched out on Paul George. I mean, that's stellar defense. But it's a shame that these two are yet to face each other in the playoffs again somehow. Like, they had those two epic matchups in 2013 and 2014, and somehow never had one again ever since. We're still waiting on that Battle of LA. It's not too late, but it's looking unlikely. Someone Kawhi's battled in the playoffs recently, though, is one Yanis Antetokounmpo. The Greek freak is now an NBA champion and a finals MVP, but we still remember the time when he's looked at as a playoff choker with no bag run and dunk man, like Harden said. And no one exposed him quite as much back then as Kawhi back in the 2019 playoffs when Leonard led the Raptors against the favorites Milwaukee Bucks in a 4-2 series win after being down 2-0. Kawhi just dunked on Yanis, literally and figuratively. Man just destroyed Yanis' claim as the best two-way player in the league and showed him how an MVP is supposed to play in the playoffs. With Kawhi smothering Yanis on defense and carrying the Raptors on offense, he put on that backpack for sure, and Yanis had nothing but praise for it. I learned a lot from him, Antetokounmpo said. He knocked down free throws. He was calm. When double teams came, he was swinging the ball but getting it right back. He was aggressive. He was calm, but he was on a mission. Yanis would get his mojo back a few years later, though, beating the allocations and getting his ring and his Bill Russell trophy. Someone who hasn't beaten the playoff choke job allegations, though, is Joel MB. Dominant regular season after dominant regular season, followed by playoff disappointment after playoff disappointment. 
not even a conference finals appearance to show for all his efforts, but he came literally inches away in 2019, with the Sixers going to seven games against Kawhi's Raptors. He was looking forward to that matchup against the MVP Yanis, with probably his best supporting cast around him to date. Unfortunately, Kawhi had this to say about that. <laughs> and proceeded to hit one of the greatest shots in sports history. It's off to Leonard, defended by Simmons. Is this the dagger? Go! Joel Embiid, meanwhile, produced one of the most viral photos in sports history. Despite that, JoJo isn't shy in giving his opponents their flowers once all is said and done. Here's what he had to say about Kawhi years later. It looks, it looks amazing. Um, yeah, and you know, I mentioned it last time we played. Last time we played them, um, you can count him in to turn into Michael Jordan in the playoffs. So. Uh, I think you know once you get, once you get to that level, uh, I think he looks great now. I think he's gonna be even better once you get to the playoffs. He looks amazing. You can count on him to turn into a Michael Jordan in the playoffs. He looks great now, but I think he's gonna be even better once you get to the playoffs. We'll just have to wait and see if Joel can ever do that himself. But for now, we can continue spamming this pick. <laughs> Even when Kawhi loses, though, he still has others' respect. When that collapse against the Nuggets happened, Damian Lillard was all out in his trolling against Pat Bev and Paul George. When asked about Kawhi, though, here's what he had to say. He has nothing to prove in my eyes. Won a chip and finals MVP in both conferences. Even when he was in his early years at the Spurs, he had the respect of his peers. Here's Klay Thompson defending him when Jason Terry called him a B player. And Kawhi Leonard, a B side player? The man was an NBA Finals MVP, one of the best two-way players in the game. Like, I know Jason Terry is renowned for his foresight with his championship tattoo and all, but he really missed in this one though. He was given that pretty unfavorable task of taking up the leadership role with Tim Duncan retiring and Tony and Manu fading into the background. He took it in his stride though and his legendary teammates has nothing but praise for the claw. Here's what Tony Parker said when talking about Kawhi. I love playing with him. I'm kind of the one who passed him the torch because it was kind of my team between 2008 and 2015, and I passed the torch to him. Tim Duncan and Kawhi's convo was leaked as well. So here's what the Spurs legend's inspiring words to Kawhi when he hung it up. I'm retiring. Okay. See ya. All right. Good luck. Thanks. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Well, not really, but the conversation probably went that way. No, here's what Duncan actually had to say about Kawhi when he was just beginning to dominate. I don't think a conversation ever surpassed 10 or 15 seconds. He hasn't said a whole lot since he's been here, but he's gone out there and put it on the floor and put up the numbers and helped us win games. When you do it like that, you earn people's respect. Tim Duncan's respect isn't something to be sniffed at. So that's saying something. Another legend of a former team is one Vince Carter. People still debate on who actually is the greatest Raptor of all time between the two of them, but Kawhi's the one who brought up the Larry O'Brien trophy up north, and VC seems like he shares the same sentiment. I think MJ is, is you know, the, the greatest, and Kobe is, uh, you know, I mean, there's the debate that the toss with depends on what week you're talking about this, and LeBron wins another one, you put him right there in that conversation. Uh, a, a one step closer, let me say. And now Kawhi, you win three championships, three MVPs. He's now a conversation piece as well. Vince essentially puts Kawhi at about the same tier or higher as guys like Larry Bird, Magic Johnson, Kareem. We're not saying it's accurate, we're not saying it's not, but we're showing you just how much of a high regard someone like VC has for Kawhi. But let's talk about the three that VC mentioned. We already know what LeBron thinks of Kawhi, but what about the Black Mamba? God rest his soul. I think he has a tremendous amount of potential, and he's only going to get better. So if I can help him out in that regard, I most certainly will. Coach Pop said that Kobe was the mechanical model when developing Kawhi, and we can definitely see the resemblance with his lockdown D and automatic mid-range shot. Pretty fitting that Kawhi was the first winner of the Kobe Bryant All-Star MVP trophy. Now, what about the GOAT Michael Jordan? Does Kawhi have his respect? Well, his airiness kept it short and sweet when asked about Kawhi. Can Kawhi score on Kawhi? Jordan said, I assume not. He's good. 
he's probably the best in the game. He's the best two-way player in the game right now. That coat against arguably the best two-way player of all time? Not too bad for a quiet robot drafted with a 15th pick. It's pretty evident that Kawhi has the respect of the best players to ever do it, and he's well on his way to being the best in the history of the game, if he isn't already. We'll just have to wait and find out if he will be among the best of the best once he retires, like VC says. But what do you think? Will he win one with the Clippers? Can he place himself between Kobe, LeBron, and Jordan? Tell us below. We'll see you later.